What is going on YouTube? I hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Today's a wonderful day because today we're starting a new series for all you beginners. Whether you're coming from the OTK tournament or you just heard about Smite or all these content creators playing the game and you're just excited to try Smite and you don't really know where to start. I'm a Smite YouTuber. My name is Inbound. I am a support main. Today we're going to be starting with Ymir, the father of the Frost Giants. Ymir is a more aggressive style support guardian. In Smite, there are five roles. There's mage warrior assassin hunter guardian guardians are magic damage based usually melee characters that are played in the support role ymir like i said is a little bit more of an aggressive one he's got a little bit more damage a little less peel and help for his team i'm going to kill you if i'm able to hit you a lot so starting with ymir's passive frostbite all of ymir's abilities that affect enemies apply debuff to the enemy called frostbite all of ymir's basic attacks against a target inflict Afflicted by frostbite do 100% more damage as easy as possible. You hit an enemy with a damaging ability They do 10% less damage to everyone for six seconds And if you hit them with a, an ability that does damage your autos do double damage. So Auto this guy 28 Hit him with my second ability the auto does 57 twice as much damage because that's how much extra damage your passive gives you looking at your mirror You've got four abilities. Your first ability is a wall. You can place it all the way out there, all the way on top of you. The coolest thing about your mirror wall, this is the biggest tip, is if you are running straight and you are not slowed at all and you look down at your feet, you can place the wall behind you and you can walk through it. So you're looking down, you're running straight, place it at your feet and you can run by it. This can only happen once you hit level six, I think it is, because before that, your movement speed isn't high enough. It also doesn't work if you're slowed, you're rooted or something like that. If I'm not moving at all and I place it, it spawns in front of me and I can't get by it. Ymir's wall works really good in corridors. Say you're trying to walk through an area, you can throw up the wall and nobody can get through. Teammates can't get through it. Enemies can't get through it. Ymir can't get through it. That's Ymir's first ability. That is ice wall, I guess. Kind of an obvious name for it, but yeah, that's Ice Wall. Next ability is Glacial Strike. It's just a line ability in front that slows and does damage. See, just slows and does damage. And you can see my passive procs onto him. I'm hitting for 99 when it wears off. 49. You can see if your passive is on somebody, you'll see this icy residue coming off of them like that. My passive is on them. Passive drops. Oops, passive is still on. Passive drops back to 49. This is your main damage ability, your main lane clear, main jungle clear ability. It's kind of the bread and butter of Ymir's early game. And Ymir is a very early game oriented character. He's also got a very strong late game. Ymir's early game is super strong because his damage carries him through it. He's got a lot of damage in his two, a lot of damage in his three, a lot of damage in his alt, but not as much safety. He doesn't have that movement speed, but he's, he makes up for it by being just super tanky. Ymir's third ability is this cone called Frost Breath. And it's a stun and it does damage. And this also procs your passive. Stunned to 2.25 seconds. Procs your passive. This is Ymir's setup from his wall. You get a nice wall down. You walk up. Freeze covers a big area. Hit the freeze. Hit the two. Beat them down. Lastly, Ymir's ultimate, Shards of Ice. All it is is a big giant channeled, channeled ability. And at the end, when you see it expanding, when it reaches the end, it explodes and it does a lot of damage. You could pop it early to do reduced damage. However, the cool thing about Ymir's ult is it's the one thing that goes slightly against his passive. Applies Frostbite. It applies Frostbite right away. So right away, I can use it. I can cancel it. I, I guess it's hard to do it from here, but it, as soon as you hit somebody with the ult, just the slow, the frostbite is applied. So you see the, the passive coming off of them? You're applying that frostbite even as your ult is charging. So if you're stuck in a pickle, if you're getting collapsed on, you can just use your ult to make them do a little bit re reduced damage to you to make you a little bit tankier or harder to kill. Your ult is also very good for securing gold theories, objectives, stopping the enemy from walking away. You can wall off an area, max range, and then walk up an alt. And then they're either forced to walk past you or just jump over the wall, get over the wall. Ymir's late game is very strong because early game, his wall only lasts two seconds. In the late game, though, it lasts six seconds. You place this here, stays up for six seconds. 
Another cool thing with the Ymir wall is you can cancel it. So it lasts six seconds right now. I can throw it up. Maybe I get a really bad wall. This is my teammate trying to run away. I get a bad wall. I can cancel it so then he can finish walking through or running through whichever area. The only tip I have in the laning phase is be careful spamming your second ability, this ability. It does a lot of damage. It's really good for lane clear. But Ymir's got very little mana in the early game and his two costs a lot of mana. So be careful spamming these abilities. Mana is just as big of a resource in the early game as health is. Use it wisely. Doesn't mean you have to never use it or anything like that, but just use it wisely. My rule kind of with Ymir is if I'm using my two, I want to be able to auto the enemy also. So if I'm trying to hit their Odin in this 2v2 laning phase, I want to be able to two him and then auto him a couple times. I don't want to just two and then not be able to hit him because now I'm wasting a lot of my damage potential from my passive. Next up for Ymir, for builds. Because he's mainly a support, I'm going to only really talk about support builds for him. Final K played him SPL solo lane. I think it was even like only a couple days ago. It was last weekend. If you're curious about playing Ymir in solo, I'd go try to get a build from him, see on his YouTube if he's got anything. But for now, Ymir support. Ymir's a Sentinel's God through and through. Always going to be going Sentinel's Gift. The biggest thing with Ymir is you want to get as tanky as possible, as quick as possible. You want to look for a lot of tankiness, a lot of physical prods, magical prods, health. Ymir's a God that you want to be as incredibly tanky as you can because his damage comes from just staying in the fights, living in fights, and just getting a lot of abilities off. Sentinel's Embrace. If you're building Sentinels, 99% of the time, just build Embrace. It's easier to use. You just run around your team and you're just making them tankier. Thieves is just very strong right now. It almost always will be strong unless it gets reworked. Sob also very, very strong. Spirit's Robe, in its current meta, in this current iteration of Spirit's Robe, it is the strongest defense item you can have. Build Spirit's Robe in nearly every game. Shoguns helps your team with a little more objectives, helps you get a few more autos off. If you look at this, I two this guy. I'm wailing on him with autos now. If I don't have this Spirit's Robe, or this Shoguns, my auto speed drops by... 25 to 30 percent i think they just nerfed it but uh, my 30 percent my auto's starting to do a lot i'm starting to auto attack a lot less and then wing blade is just a good survivability item because i don't have a dash or jump or anything like that wing blade just helps you survive it makes you immune to slows for a few seconds and gives you a, a burst of movement speed but there it is a short little video for the beginners for the noobs of smite there it is ymir i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you guys enjoy playing the ymir and if you guys got any questions, drop them below. Let me know which god you want me to do next. This for noob is gonna be for noobs, it's gonna become a series. For beginners, it's gonna become a series. So I wanna know what you guys wanna see. Probably start off with the Amir, maybe at Ares, Raz, the very easy gods, just as an introduction to Smite. Let me know if you guys wanna hear anything else in these for beginning series, and I can maybe edit it and add a few more things in if I miss anything. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See ya.